We thank you, loving Father, for all you've done today, for sending Christ the Savior to take our sins away. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, moms. Good morning, dads. Good morning, aunties and uncles. And good morning, grandpa and grandma. And a big warm welcome to you, my little ones, to yet an exciting Bible story time. I am so excited that you could make it this morning to listen to our story. But before we start, let's pray. Our hands we fold, our eyes we close, our heads we bow as we speak to God right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the love that you've given us and thank you for opening our ears and our hearts to receive your word this morning. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, well, let's get into it. Let's get into our finger play. Today, our finger play tells us about how good God is. It says, God is good. I am small, but God cares for me. He loves me. Oh, yes, he does. God really cares about us and he loves us and he will protect us. Now, let's get into our story. Our story comes from the book of 2 Kings, 2 Kings 6, verse 23. Do you guys have your Bibles? Oh, mommies and dads, please help our little ones with their Bibles so that they can see where our story is. Our story is in the book of 2 Kings 6.23 in the Bible. The Bible, it's God's book. Let's open it and see where he tells us of his love. He loves you. He loves me. Our story is about a prophet named Elisha. God protects his people. People try to hurt Elisha. Do you see the people? They try to hurt Elisha. God sent his army to protect Elisha and to keep him safe. God protected his people. God protected Elisha. We cannot see God, but God keeps his promise to keep us safe. God protects his people. That's our story for today. It just reminds us that whatever happens around us, God will always protect us because he loves us and he cares because God is a protector. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you are our protector. Even when people want to hurt us, Lord, we know that you will take care of us. You will protect us. We thank you so much for the story that reminds us that you will always protect us as your people, especially us as your children. You'll protect us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, well, we are nearing to the end. But before we get to the end, let's do our scripture verse. Our scripture verse also comes from the Bible. It comes from Psalms 16, verse 1a. And it says, keep me safe, my God. Keep me safe, my God. But I'm going to do it in a song. We are going to do it in row, row, row your boat. I hope you've got your shakers. If you don't have, please go get your instruments, whatever that you have. Moms and dad, please, 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 please. Let's get our instruments ready so that we can enjoy this time of music with our little ones. Row, row, row the boat gently down the street. Our scripture verse. 
Keep me safe, my God. Psalm 16, verse 1a. Keep me safe, my God. Psalm 16, 1a. Can we do it again? Did you hear it? All right, now join me. Keep me safe, my God. Psalm 16, 1a. Keep me safe, my God. Psalm 16, 1a. Oh, yes. That's our scripture verse. Please sing it or say it so that you can remember that God will always protect you and he will keep you safe. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that you are a, a person who can keep us safe. You are a God who can protect us. No matter what the danger is, we can call on you and know that we are safe. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, well, it's that time again where I have to say goodbye. But uh, um, don't be scared and don't worry. Next week, we'll meet again for yet another exciting Bible story time. I'll be waiting for you right here. Bye.